Hey everyone, welcome back to We're Testing Every Single Mask in the World, especially masks that y'all send me. That's right, busting out the second person plural for this one, folks. Very excited uh, to get this note from Mr. Peter. Mr. Peter, let me read. Hi Lloyd, never in a million years would I ever think, never would I ever, uh, that I would become obsessed with masks. Wow, uh, strong word. As a flight attendant, I have to wear them all day and am tasked with enforcing the federal mask mandate at work. Eee, that does not sound ideal. I've had people yell at me for wearing a mask and walking down the street. Can't imagine what those people are like on an airplane. Uh, since the start of the pandemic, I've been in search of the perfect mask and found them in armbrust. Aw, thanks. It's very nice. Uh, my review, oh, he pasted the review uh, on uh, your Facebook page on the other side of this. I'm enclosing some masks that I've purchased along the way. I love your YouTube channel. Thank you. And I thought watching, I never thought watching masks being tested would be enjoyable. Your humor keeps me coming back. I really need a life. You said it, Peter. Not, not me. I need a life, too, so we're in the same club. <laughs> Uh, hope you like the review I posted and I'm spreading the word on your great company. Uh, thanks, Peter. That's awesome. I appreciate it. Uh, and great review uh, on there. Uh, that's, that's really awesome. By the way, fun fact, being on an airplane is actually one of the safest places you can be. Now, being in an airport, dicey. But being on an airplane, uh, the typical, like a 737, has 15 air changes an hour. It's every three minutes they're changing all of the air that you're breathing, which is like... Uh, we have a special setup here. We do six air changes an hour, which is kind of what the CDC recommends. Um, but I mean, that's like better than a clean room. And they usually they have MERV 15, MERV 16 filtration. So being on an airplane is one of the safest places that you can be, especially if everyone is wearing some sort of local source control. Uh, so just keep that in mind. I know that being close to all those people might freak you out, but it's actually really pretty good. Subway cars, same way in New York. All right, let's take this out. He said, uh, believe, I believe I purchased these from Plus TV, which I've never heard of before. Uh, celebrating 25 plus years in business. I'm not really sure, but they have this, you know, unlabeled, uh, you know, can 95. Um, so let's go ahead and open it up and see what's going on with the Plus TV masks from Mr. Peter. Let's see. Okay, so this one is a five pack. And I can tell you right away that this is not a real Can95. We'll jump into that in just a second, but let's put it in the clamper first. We'll get the test going while I'm yapping about masks. Peter, you're an exclusive club. There's 19 of us. We love masks. We're here together. So thank you for this. Uh, I actually probably got about 20, 30 submissions at this point. Um, all right, this is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. If you want to find out how that works, check out that link. Let's look at this plus TV thing. So uh, long lasting antibacterial, doubt it. Uh, effective filter material, we shall see plus TV. Uh, bendable nose clip, that's an easy one. It's a medical device, Prop 65, made in China. Ooh. Distributed by WCI Incorporated. Try to see on their website if they're making any claims. Five layers of protection. Capacity with grady, greater than 95% filtration of tiny microscopic particles. They're even FDA registered. <gasps> no, they're not, lady. That's not a thing. Masks, no masks are registered. So a dead giveaway if someone says they're FDA registered. Industry standard for KN95 is 95%. These test at 97% or better. We'll see, that's what this machine tests. This is literally doing the KN95 test, but I can tell you that it's probably not gonna do very well. Why? Well, because this is not a KN95. So you can tell right away if this is a legit KN95 by looking at the mask. So uh, right on here, uh, the GB2626 standard, which is the Chinese executive standard, says that it has to say that on there, GB2626, and then it has to say if it's, you know, the 2019 standard, and then it has to have the brand name of the manufacturer, 
and it has to have the model number, and it doesn't have any of those. So I can tell you right away, this is not a very good mask. Because it's not, it's not a KN95. They're making claims. All right, let's try this out. That's horrible. Anytime two come off at once, you know it's not very good. And then look. <laughs> the nose the nose wire just came right off like that. Okay, interesting the, the right side is a little bit better. I bet this is one of those scenarios where this is probably one of the worst can I've ever seen. Oh no, look at that. I need to look at that. That's not good. I need to eat less. That's not good. That's what that means, right? Okay. Do you have that too? It's embarrassing. I'm 40. I can get away with that. <laughs> this smells like my mom's kitchen, which is like a very like Dawn soapy smell. Like it's very clean. And someone's body odor. That's weird. This is horrible. Look at that. This thing is just coming right off. I'm not going to say this is the worst mask I've ever seen, but... It's not great. Um, but does any of that matter if it doesn't protect you? Ah, 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 